Okay, so you've got your students set up on their tablets, in-class tablets, and now you want to see their progress on the teacher dashboard, the progress that they're making in the game. Um, and this is where you would come back to. You would come back to your teacher dashboard that you can see here. Last time you saw, I had set up the wizards. I've since gone out to set up other classes and I've populated them with other students. But right now, let's go see the progress that the wizards have made. Here you would see just general, like uh, if you clicked students, general, how many modes have they completed? How many games have they won? But really, I'm interested in actually seeing the progress they've made within each story, right? So I'm going to click stories in wizards. I could also get here by if I was in that home thing, and I just wanted to see the progress within the stories, I could just go right to here to stories. So it's the same thing. So here is the active story of Rani Isapi. And here's a progress summary. Four out of nine of my students have completed magical translations. Two out of nine have completed copycat. And only one of them completed Spanish only, and none of them have done read by myself. So that's a big picture um, view. You can also um, look at the progress summary in other stories right here that are not active. Um, but right now we're going to concentrate on this active story. So if we want more details about who in the wizards class did the magical translations and the copycat, we would double click in here or single click into this more detailed view and here you're going to have the full list of students in the wizards class this has all been populated with dummy uh dummy information so don't look too hard at it but basically you can see that pat degustino has not done anything in this story none of the modes but felipe jones has done magical translations one one time he's done copycat one time and spanish only one time and he has not done read by myself he's earned a total of of nine gold keys because just so you know you earn two gold keys for magical translations three gold keys for copycat four gold keys for spanish only so that, that's up to nine and if he had done read by myself he would earn five gold keys for that but anyway so here you can see crystalana and andy berry also have done some work down here now what about the games the games that are part of that learning path you would click here under games to see how all these students have done. Again, this is all dummy information, so don't look at it too hard. But just to say that um, right here, I've got Andy Berry has got, he has one, a number one means that he won it, AKA he got it 100% correct one time. So each win you will see here on the teacher dashboard. And a win is when they got 100% correct in a game. So that's pretty good pretty good going for Andy right there. So um, uh, let's see, that, that's pretty much the main things that I just wanted to show you and you can go and look at that for each one of your students. Enjoy following your students' progress, it's pretty exciting.